Good afternoon, Molly. Today is Wednesday, June 8th, and I am not working today. No work for Melinda. Yeah! And it was super exciting because I worked for seven days straight, and now I'm here. And I babysat all day, but other than that, I haven't done anything, and I love it so much. So I'm sitting on the sofa thinking about how screwed up my brain is from watching Doctor Who over the weekend. The season finale came on on Saturday, and I know you don't really know anything about Doctor Who, but I'm going to tell you, one, I'm not going to have any spoilers in here for any of the people that watch that are Doctor Who fans and haven't watched it. <coughs> That's you, Craig. Craig, yeah, watch all of Doctor Who, okay? Because you will not be upset if you do, because it's really good and you should watch it. And so anyway, but I was completely fucked up, knowing, just getting the information that I did. We find out who River Song is, and my mind was blown finding out who she is, and that's crazy, and I just love Doctor Who for that, because he, the whole show, Stephen Moffat, Moffat? Moffat? I don't know, I don't even know what his last name is, how to explain it, I don't even know, but this is what we refer to when we get messed up, right here, right there, good, good word, and I like it, okay, anyway, that's what we refer to it as, but I don't know how to pronounce his last name, so it's just going to sound funny if I say it, so I'm not going to. So, yeah, that's what I did this weekend, besides working. I worked and I watched Doctor Who, the last two episodes of the season. Now the season's over, and I won't be able to watch any of it until, like, November, and that's depressing, and that sucks, but whatever, I guess. Tomorrow, I have plans of going to the beach with these neighbor girls that I'm babysitting, and I'm excited because I haven't been really in the sun at all this summer. Which, I mean, is fine because I'm allergic to the sun and stuff, but not fine because I work, which is sucky. But anyway, so I'm currently reading Harry Potter because I was doing that challenge. I don't know if you knew about that, but I was reading, I was doing a Harry Potter reading challenge where I was going to read every book, like, one per month until the film came out in July. And then I failed epically in, like, huge proportions because I just finished the second book today. I have a month left to read five books, and I think I can do it. I just have to have faith in myself, and it's going to be great, and I am I just know I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to put my mind to it, and I'm going to blow these out of the water. Again, I'm going to apologize because I'm using my webcam, because quite frankly, I'm just a little too lazy to walk to my room and get my flip cam, because, yep, I'm just lazy right now. And so I'm sorry that I have a fuzzy video. Apparently the sound worked way better on my video last week, or I mean on Friday, instead of, like, the very first video I did. I don't know, whatever, okay. So, yeah, I guess I don't really have anything else to say except for you should become a Whovian because I, you would just absolutely love Doctor Who. I can feel it. Second, do you think you could read all seven books before the film comes out? If you think you can, I challenge you to read all seven books before the film comes out in a month. And it's going to be brilliant. Oh, and also, we should have a Harry Potter marathon again, because that was cool. Especially now that the new film is out, and the film is going to come out, you know, like, whatever. But, yep, other than that, no challenges. Just read Harry Potter if you can, if you think you can do it. Or just see if you can do it and do it anyway. All seven books in one month. How busy are you? Can you do it? I don't know. I'm going to do it. It's going to be great. Just be jealous. I'm going to do it. It's going to be so brilliant. And I'm going to let it. So I'm going to stop rambling now. And yep. I'll see you on Friday.